Well, music now. Uh, See, that's what I'm talking about. Now get on up and dance with your Aunt Nettie. Come on, uh, come on, get up and dance now. Take your mind off your troubles. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Are you crazy? Hey, baby, what's the deal? Get the hell up. Get up. All right. I thought you said this guy was fun. Yeah. It's the bathroom. I need to refresh. Down there. Down there. Hmm. Are you retarded? What? It's a simple question. Are you retarded? Okay, damn it. Listen. No. Here, here's what happened. All right. You're out running errands. I'm, uh, I had to go get something to eat by myself. All right. Alexis recognizes me, asked for an autograph, and then uh, she started asking me some hockey questions. Next thing you know, we're here. Huh? We're here. Here? Yeah. In Terry's house. You're overreacting just a bit, D. You're acting like a child. And I'm tired of babysitting, okay? Oh, and just be my agent, Damon, and don't be my father. You know what? Go get a room. I can't be serious. Come on, man. Take some time to sober your inconsiderate ass up and get a damn room. My credit card. That way Samantha won't have proof that you were there. All right. All right, I'll, I'll make Alexis leave. But just give her a bit of time to sober up, all right? The toilets are nice. Yeah, aren't they? Well, well. Look who's back on the block. Hey! <laughs> What's up, big baller? What's up? Monique and Dolores. You still breaking hearts? What the hell do you want, Lem? <laughs> I need some info. Somebody just got shot in your alley. People always getting shot on the south side. I ain't asking about people, I'm asking about blue. And I'm asking if you realize cutting hair alone doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Everything's crazy since Filky went to the joint. Crazy. Blue was dealing for Filky and two other young fools named Blaylock and Big Craig. Blaylock? The one that capped Rayfield? Same one. Ask if Blaylock is looking for anybody. What the fuck do you mean, ask her? I'm right here, ask me yourself. Is Blaylock looking for anybody? Don't get cute, motherfucker. And if you're asking such big questions, you better have some bigger precedents. <laughs> Is this big enough? They think one of Blue's schoolyard runners saw it go down. Some kid in a uniform. Thanks. I'm out. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't you got a nephew or something? Someone you know goes to private school, wears a uniform? <laughs> Every other kid in Chicago wears a uniform. And right now, I'm worried about all of them. In fact, right now, I wonder about your safety, too. Go get some rest. I still have to get the kids' lunches ready for tomorrow. Maxine. If Ahmad isn't home by midnight, I'll call the school and tell him he's sick. Maybe I'll say it's the flu. You know what? You're going to wear yourself out. See if there's any bread in the bread box. Maxine. Lem knows exactly where Ahmad is and how to keep him safe. Okay, I'm sure he'll be home soon. Don't worry, it's just... It's all gonna work out. 
Terry put Brooke to bed, and I finally got Kelly to go to sleep. Good. <laughs> right, girl. Ooh, she is a mess. Actually took the book from me and said she'd read herself to sleep. <laughs> yeah, she's something. She's something gonna be smart as a... Oh, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. It's almost 10 o'clock and I don't have the slightest idea where my son is. I don't know if the shooter is closer to finding him. If he is, then I'm not there to protect him. Kenny, Ahmad is going to come home safely. We just have to have faith. We have faith. Do you really believe that? Yes. Wherever he is, he's in good hands. I know God wouldn't let anything happen to my baby. Yeah. He knows I couldn't take that. Can I get you something, Lem? Coffee? No, no. Thanks. Well, you look like you got something to say. Well, I found out what a mod witness wasn't just some street shooting. It was a drug hit. Oh. Okay. Where are you going, Kenny? No, I am tired of the bullshit. Take me to our mom, man. I thought you said you wasn't going to sweat me on this. I lied. Now, either you take me, or I'm going to have to ask the police to take me. I don't think that's what's best for Ahmad. As soon as the police find him, the murderer will know his identity, too. Now, every day in the paper, there is a story about someone who gets killed before they can tell God damn it. I am sick and tired of people telling me what's best for my son. Sorry, what's best for my son is that he's here so I can protect him. Okay, okay. What about this? You can call him, okay? And that way you can talk to him. And that wouldn't jeopardize anything, would it? Yes, let's do that, Lam. I, I, I agree. That's a real good idea, babe. Is somebody got your money? Well, nobody asked you straight out, dog. Old man, they shit like it. Hello. Hey, put a mod on. You in trouble? No, no, no. Everything's cool. Just, just put them on. Here, it's your uncle. <sighs> uncle Lim? Hey, I got some people here that want to talk to you. Hey, am I? Dad. Hi, I'm I'm here too, sweetheart. We just want to know if you're all right. I'm okay. Are you sure? Because if you're not, man, I... Nah. Yeah, I'm I'm all right. Baby, this will all be over soon, and you'll be home in no time. Like, I just want to go to sleep. Okay, we love you. I love you too. Hey, you be strong, son, all right? I will. Bye. 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 Oh, come here. <laughs> about you, but I feel 
feeling pretty sobered up. Why don't we go get a hotel room, huh? Damon gave me his credit card. If you insist. Uh. Must be Terry's. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. My agent will freak if he sees you. But he doesn't see me, does he? Hmm. Why don't we go get that hotel room? What are you doing? What? You like that? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Look, my agent's really tripping, so why don't we just... What was that? What did it feel like? It felt like a dick! So now you're gonna pretend like you didn't know. But of course I didn't know! You're special, you know that? Real special. Usually you straight guys wait until after the day before you start acting like you didn't know you were with a man. Get the, get the fuck out of here, right? Just get out of here. Sure you don't want a nice little blowjob? Listen! Fucking little pervert. I am not one of your boy toys, all right? You hear me, damn it? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get the hell out of here. I knew that was gonna wake you up. Look, I am so sorry, baby, but Aunt Nettie just broke her last good coffee cup. Well, I know it ain't much, but it's either this or some old Clamato juice and dried up lemons. Thanks, but I'm not really hungry. Well, now, would you be hungry if I cooked you some bacon and eggs and hash browns and grits? Probably. Mm. Well, and I'm going to the stove. I won't be long. No! Boy, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm not staying here by myself. Well, now, you know you can't go with me. Then I'd rather not eat. Come on. Let's go. We're going to the stove. But I, I thought you just said I... Forget what I said. Ain't nobody gonna recognize you anyway. Come on. Come on now, hurry up. It's probably nothing, just a cold. I'm sure he'll be in school tomorrow. No, I don't think I'll be in at all, okay? Thank you. Well, Liberty will just have to wait because I have more important things to do than to discuss why we can't draft corporate minutes for meetings that didn't take place. Thank you. That's very considerate. I'll come and pick up his homework later today. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to tell him. Thank you. Okay, bye. <sighs> Kelly, come on. Coming. You guys, um, you know I appreciate it, but it's really not necessary for both of you to be here. Here's your lunch, baby. Thank you. Have a great day. 
Good day.